Warm round of applause to Richard Kiss. Thank you, Grant. Let's keep it going for Grant. So I'm uh, kind of nervous, uh, but I see a few friendly faces in the audience. So before I begin, I'd just like to give a quick shout out. <laughs> So you heard correctly, my name is Richard Kiss, last name Kiss, K-I-S-S, -S, no tricks to the spelling there. Now let me tell you, when you're a kid growing up, last name Kiss is bad enough all by itself. But I want you to consider the last name Kiss in conjunction with the short form of the first name Richard. <laughs> you're getting it. With absolutely no irony, my parents gave me the name Dick Kiss. Well done. <laughs> That's planning. As you can tell, I worked on interest in making things a challenge for the kids in the schoolyard. The taunt's pretty obvious. But I guess in a twisted way, the name makes sense. I'm a third child. I'm named for third base. <laughs> My oldest brother, he's uh, first child. His name's French. First base. Yeah, I got problems. I'm uh, obsessive compulsive, OCD, or as I like to say, uh, careful. <laughs> Anyone else uh, OCD? By applause if you're obsessive compulsive. Uh, clap 17 times. <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome to the stage. <laughs> yeah, besides, uh, oh, you're, you're thinking about being OCD? That's what's going on back there. <laughs> besides obsessive compulsive, I'm uh, also cheap. So the poor woman that I go with, they got kind of, like, a lot of her hands. Uh, I'm so cheap that I'll make her split the check. But because I'm OCD, I'll make her show her work. <laughs> Every step. You can't just write down the answer. I'm taking math class. That's worth nothing. I want to see a proof. <laughs> At the end, put QED in the little three dots. Now, one of the things uh, that I notice is uh, the names of stores. There's a store that I see a lot of the places called uh, Linens and Things. Linens and things. I don't know where they got the name of this store, but it's like they couldn't decide if they want to be too specific or too general. <laughs> Linens and things. How about to giraffe tongue depressors and stuff? <laughs> Linens and things. When you got things in the name, how do you decide what you're not going to sell? I just mean the guy in charge of that's like, well, let's see, 56 inch Sony color plasma television. That's not a linen. It's a thing. <laughs> yes, we'll stop that. Don't put that in aisle seven. Things you look at. <laughs> what if you need lava lamps? The women's breasts. <laughs> Underneath the car accidents, that's right. Well done. Thank you. You're a good worker. Linens and things appreciates you. And stuff. <laughs> There's another store that uh, gets me, it's called the Baby Gap. Now, I thought of another name for this store, a new name. It means the same thing, but it's way more concise. Try to emphasize, uh, cervix. <laughs> all right, push. Baby Gap style, at 10 centimeters. They're all set. So I guess we've got a lot of students here tonight. Who's a student? Anyone? <laughs> nice, okay. You guys are so lucky, I'll tell you. The internet makes research so easy. I mean, it's at the point, you don't even have to do the research. You, you need a fact, you just make it up, put in your homework, and then go to Wikipedia and put it there, too. <laughs> the teacher's like, I need a source for this. Oh, yeah, here, I'm gonna, hang on, I'll show you. See, right there. I told you Abe Lincoln's vice president was a cookie monster. <laughs> First member of the executive to have blue eyes. <laughs> Momentous day for googly eyed Americans. Finally broke through that glass ceiling. So, uh, scientists, uh, I read this the other day, have recently discovered the part of the brain responsible for interpreting sarcasm. Yeah. 
Now this is important research. What was that mouse sound? <laughs> I saw some mouse traps in the basement. I didn't realize how serious the problem was. <laughs> speaks. <laughs> Interpreting sarcasm. Important research. Yeah, I think they're up for a Nobel Prize for this one. <laughs> my sarcasm face. <laughs> and in music news, uh, any fans of Courtney Love here? Apparently she's uh, joining the band Korn. <laughs> what a guess. I'm surprised it's you, trust me. New band's gonna go cornhole. Little <laughs> joke. I just wanted a joke with cornhole in it. Got a soft spot for that. Yeah, Courtney Love. What a doll, huh? Let me tell you, she put the ska in stank. Ha <laughs> ha